How's it going YouTube? In this video I'm going to show you how to set up voice meter banana. We're also going to set up virtual audio cables so you can connect it to things like Discord or any other video game that you have. So let's dig in. First things first guys, make sure you download voice meter banana and virtual audio cable using the link in the description below. Once you have voice meter banana downloaded, this is what it will look like. Um, make sure that you do download with the exe file on their page. That is what's going to get you the banana version, not the voice meter base version. So once you have the program downloaded, the first thing that you're going to need to do is go into your sound playback devices, scroll all the way down to cable input VB dash audio voice meter vial. Make sure you have that set to your default device. So let's just get an understanding of the basics of the program so we don't get all jumbled and confused. First of all, we have the hardware input. So you have hardware input one, two, and three. Under each hardware input, you have the respective settings for that input. Next, you have virtual inputs. You have virtual input voice meter vial and virtual input voice meter aux. On the right side here, you have hardware out A1, A2, and A3. Under the master section, you have the audio settings for A1, A2, and A3. And then you have the virtual outputs B1 and B2. So the first thing you're going to want to do is enable your first input. For the first input, you should enable your, your microphone. I personally have found less latency issues with the WDM version, but you will have a WDM and an MME version for each of your audio input selections. Once you have your hardware input selected, whatever microphone may that be, you're going to want to select B1 and B2. This is essential for hooking up to any video game or Discord, which is going to be the example I show you. What you're doing by enabling B1 and B2 is you are sending that audio to virtual output voice meter vial and voice meter aux. B1 is voice meter output one. You have B2 as voice meter aux output. Second thing we're going to make note of is the A1, A2, and A3. If I were to enable A1, my microphone would play through my sp my microphone would play through my speakers. That's why you hear the echo there. Because up here on my A1, I have my WDM speakers selected. Under A2, I have my headphones selected. So if I wanted to listen to myself talk, I could enable A2 and listen to the audio so I know how I'm how I sound um, coming from my microphone rendered through voice meter. I suggest setting up both A1 and A2. Say you have speakers and headphones. I suggest selecting them both. It does make it a lot easier when um, trying to, you know, switch from headphones to speakers or whatever, ha whatever have you. Um, it's as simple as clicking a A1 or A2 on one of these selections on your virtual inputs. And we'll get to that in a second. Now, the second thing that you want to set up after you've installed the virtual audio cable is in your hardware input two. make sure you have WDM cable output selected. This is so that we can link the voice meter program to any discord or video game. Um, so that that audio output from those games are rendered through voice meter and then reach your speakers or headphones. All right, so just to clarify what we have set up already, you have the microphone set up for input one, the cable output set up for input two. Under the microphone, you have B1 and B2 selected. This is so that you're sending your microphone audio through virtual output one and two. Virtual output one is the voice meter output. Virtual output two is the voice meter aux output. B1 and B2. Under hardware input two, you have the cable output, and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do with that right now. Now, if you go to your Discord voice and video app settings, 
what you need to set up is under your input device you need to have microphone vb dash audio voice meter this here is your b2 output your b2 output that is why on hardware input one i have your selection as b1 and b2 now the reason i have you set up both b1 and b2 is so that under B2, you can enable your microphone through any video game or Discord. And B1, you can use as an output for any stream on OBS or on Streamlabs OBS or any other streaming platform. Just to simplify it a little bit so you're not still confused, on your input device on Discord, you have your output B2 selected which is the microphone VB dash audio. The reason you have that output selected is hardware input one. You're sending your microphone through voice meter so it can be rendered and then sent to discord. Your output device, so any audio coming from discord is being sent to the cable input, which is selected here under hardware input two on voice meter. So it's sent to voice meter and then rendered through voice meter and sent to any hardware outputs. So your headphones or speakers, etc. And B1, so you can send that to any stream, software, or anything like that. Now that we have all that set up, we're going to take a look at our virtual inputs. The virtual inputs um, are voice meter vial and voice meter aux. Now, I know they use the same names for literally everything, so it gets a little bit confusing and jumbled in your head. What you selected earlier as your desktop audio sound is the cable input VB audio voice meter vial. That is your virtual input v voice meter vial. Now, voice meter vial mirrors voice meter aux or voice meter aux mirrors voice meter vio so the audio that travels to voice meter is your desktop audio which is voice meter vio and then you send your desktop audio to a1 your speakers a2 your headphones if you are a streamer like myself you can send this audio to b1 as well to your virtual output b1 it's pretty simple uh, voice meter aux I do use for um, other things as well so I have that enabled to my speakers and then also to B1. This just gives you more versatility with your audio selection where you can send your audio um, how can you you can manipulate that audio in different ways to different speakers and different outputs and inputs um, but essentially overall the program is pretty simple once you understand the basics. Hardware input one, microphone, hardware input two, cable output. Send your mic microphone through voice meter and then send it out to your virtual, virtual outputs. Take any video game or any application and send it to voice meter banana with your virtual audio cable and then send that audio after it's been rendered through voice meter and send it to your hardware outputs so that you can hear it. Your headphones and or speakers and if you're a streamer you can enable one of the virtual outputs i su i suggest b1 uh, essentially because we use the microphone for from virtual output b2 as our microphone in game or on discord so when you use obs you can enable the virtual output one and we'll take a look at that right here what I suggest doing with OBS, uh, as you guys know, I'm a streamer. Um, while we're here, check me out on Twitch sometime, twitch.tv slash Francois. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night. Um, if you're having any issues with this program still, feel free to just comment in the channel, ask me any questions live. I'm happy to help you out. So what you need to do for OBS is in your pro so under your mixer settings in obs you have you know your desktop audio and your mic audio and your webcam audio mute everything except for mic slash auxiliary under mic slash aux you're gonna select the device voice meter output vb dash audio voice meter vio what you're doing when you're selecting voice meter output 
vb-audio voice meter vio is you are selecting virtual output b1 so everything that you have set up on voice meters to send to virtual output b1 is going to be sent to your stream so in this case you'll have your microphone your discord or any video game that you have your desktop audio or anything that you have set up to voice meter aux virtual input the mixer tab is located directly right of the sources tab and to the left of scene transitions in the OBS window. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I did try really hard to simplify the program. Naturally, voice meter banana is just confusing. It really is. Um, but if the video did help you, scroll down, tap that thumbs up button, leave a like on the video, and also subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing more um audio videos with voice meter potato we're going to talk about optimizing voice meter banana settings and voice meter potato settings we're also going to be talking about optimizing audio on your obs and doing a lot a lot of twitch tip content so subscribe to the channel check out these two videos and i will catch you next time